Good afternoon, everybody. I think it's afternoon. It's about two o'clock right now. Definitely not in the truck, as you can tell, but it is a truck related topic of some sort. As I said in the previous video, what we're going to do is we're going to do a cooler review. It's a 12 volt cooler that goes in the truck. So this could go hand in hand with an RV, with a Sprinter van conversion, road tripping, anything. I've been looking for a cooler for a truck, like a decent cooler for quite some time and I haven't been able to find one at a decent price. Uh, I've seen some built-in ones for sale on Facebook and stuff used, but I didn't really want to go that route. I wanted to buy a new one. The Medic, extremely overpriced. So I've been looking, I've been using the Coleman cooler. They're like hundred bucks at Walmart. I've ran through three of them and the one just died. I'm tired of doing that. Uh, so I went about this guy on Amazon. It's called Alpi Cool. Uh, I'm gonna put the link in the description. So if you're interested, you can purchase one yourself. Uh, but yeah, basically I wanted to do like an unboxing so you can see what it is that you exactly get in the box. And then once it's in the truck and I've been using it for some time, I'm gonna uh, do a review of like ownership on it. So to give you an idea, this cooler retailed for about $320, I believe. However, uh, they had a deal going on where if you apply for an Amazon credit card, which you get 5% cash back on any purchase on Amazon. And since I do purchase things on Amazon quite a bit, I wanted to do it, why not? So I applied for the credit card and I got a $100 gift card with that amount. I'm not sure if I'm centered. So I got a $100 gift card. So essentially the cooler ended up costing me $220. So this is a 12 volt cooler, it had pretty good reviews. And one thing that is truly awesome about this that I didn't find anywhere else, especially in price range, is it's dual zone. So you can have a freezer and you can have a cooler. Uh, meaning, you know, you could have your microwave meals and then you could have your regular food on the other side, which on the road is just a huge plus. I can bring some microwave meals, you know, if I'm running my you know hours to the max and I don't really have time to stop and cook and all that, I could just you know pop it in a microwave and have food ready to go instead of going to the subway or something. Uh, yeah, not, not, not a good time to the subway. But yeah, I'm gonna throw the camera down here uh, and we're gonna do kind of like an unboxing video of it so you get an idea of everything that's actually in the box and then we're gonna open it up, show it to you and go from there. There, I'm gonna put my phone there so I can see at all times to make sure everything is centered and you can actually see it. So there's the box. Things pretty heavy and pretty big. That's what it comes like. I'm gonna bring it closer to you so we can get it opened up. I'm trying to block on my address for obvious reasons. the cooler I forgot how many quarts it is um, it's a 50 liter it's a 50 liter cooler dual zone make sure you can see it right there open this up first impression this thing looks nice, I'm telling you. It looks real nice. It's kind of odd. Oh, it does have handles. Oh, that's nice. So, it does have handles. Actually, I thought it didn't have handles, but it does. Let's grab the camera and uh, show you around it. First impressions. So, there it is. So that's the brand Alpi Cool, right there. You have your vent right here. You have wheels, which is nice. This is your uh, controls. You could actually charge your phone, I guess, from here. 
So it has dual. This is for one and this is for the other one. And I guess it has settings. Looks like a pretty nice screen. This handle is longer, so you can pull it. Okay, let's open it up, see what's in there. Oh, okay, that's a pretty nice lid. Shuts pretty snug. So, there it is. I'm sure this is the charger. This is nice, because you can take this out and fill it up with stuff if something is in the bottom or whatnot. And has a drain plug on the bottom, which is nice to clean it up. Right there. And it does have this divider, so I'm assuming if you want to just run one same temperature, you can divide it. So I guess this seals up. There's a nice gasket around. I mean, for, you know, $300, you can't really expect crazy quality. But on, on first look, this looks really nice. Alpi cool, we make you feel cool. Oh, funny. This side has a fan there as well. Mm. Nice lid. Let's see if I can set the camera right here to open up this box. I can adjust this. Okay, there's your charger. So this is your 12 volt truck car charger. And then this is your house charger with two part. I'm gonna take this, plug it in and see how it goes. All right, we got that recording. I plug the charger in. We're gonna plug it in right on the bottom. It goes this way, I believe. Okay, it turned on. There's the, I'm gonna peel this off so you can actually see it. I don't know if this is, yeah, that's a USB charger. I'm not sure if that's, if it takes maybe a minute to turn on or what's going on. If you're supposed to hold it. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's a nice screen. It's telling you the volt, voltage. I don't know if you can see it from the screen. Let's just turn it on. Maybe because it's first time that noise is starting. cardboard out the fan is making some noise maybe because it's brand new let's see so yeah you have your volt your two uh, your two zones here basically you adjust it you know to what it is you want it to be I don't know if that's the, the selection. It's telling you this one, this one. So this one here is not square. So I'm assuming this one here is the one closer. This one. And then this one up top is the one over there. Uh, hopefully it's not making that noise all the time. I'll have to check that fan out. Hopefully it just kind of goes away. But yeah. Uh, change the temperature on this. That's your dual. So this one's not a button. It just tells you. So that's your current temperature, voltage it's drawing, and current temperature. And then this is adjusted to 31, and this is adjusted to 34. I don't know if your settings, what your settings would even be. Uh, okay. Turn on and off. One thing that's really nice. So in the truck, sometimes, you know, you turn off your lights, you go to sleep. And you have to kind of look for the light to turn on to grab something from the cooler. Well, check this out. It has a light integrated right in here. And I'm telling you, temperature is going down. Well, it feels like I can feel the cold breeze. Hopefully, it wasn't damaged or something. You can hear it. 
it's kind of annoying if that's what it sounds like at all times but we'll see we'll give you updates but yeah that's the cooler that's the opening unboxing you've seen what it looks like how much it costs etc etc all the ins and outs the features uh i can't really tell you how well it cools how it holds long term anything but once i go on the road and i fill it with food and you know etc how long it takes to uh, come down i'm gonna give you more details on that but yeah uh, let me know in the comments uh, what do you think you think this is a good deal maybe you've seen a better deal uh, what is it that you use if you're a truck driver especially a fleet truck driver like big companies you probably have a nice thousand dollar Dometic already built in the truck but you know for us guys who can't really afford that and we have older trucks that don't have those things you know you look for alternatives like this but yeah thank you guys for watching uh if you have any questions throw them in the comments uh, make sure you hit that subscribe like comment share and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one.